Hello, this is Nintendo 14, playthrough on Donkey Kong 64, part 19 in the last part. We finished up the 100% of the Jungle Japes, and we covered up, which rounded out everything that we had to do. Now we had all five Kongs, as you can see right here. We got all 500 bananas in the current areas that we've explored already. So that leaves uh, just one thing. Back in the Frantic Factory, there's the Droplin Scout Portals that we haven't even touched on since we even went into the Frantic Factory. For the Droplin Scout Portals, you need 200 bananas. Not really that much, but I guess you can just get through this by just 100%ing with just two Kongs. I have seen, I actually saw a video on YouTube one time where <clears throat> uh, I, bl I believe Diddy Kong and Tiny Kong are kind of mandatory because because you don't, maybe, hard to explain, but, yeah, I guess that's how it is. Well, let's just get out Tiny Kong here and just give the last half of the the required bananas here. Now, if I can come up with what I was going to say here. Now, this video is also going to be short, but also going to be the only part that I record for today. Because, because this is the recording for April 15th. That means I'm going to be working on a bit more videos after all this because it's the day of the day of Mewtwo. Let's just call it that. Or, ooh, voice crack. Let's just call that the day of Mewtwo. April 15th, 2015. Just just call it the day of Mewtwo where everybody uploads videos about how Mewtwo's in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And, but, but what about this game? This game gets released on the virtual console. I mean, give it some, some credit. Anyways, let's go through go towards the door of the boss with Tiny. Oh boy. I mean, what could possibly be this way, you know, with, with Tiny Kong just uh, being absolutely notorious sometimes, but alright. Got this strange little area just with this soul glowing pillar. Well, not now it's a pillar. Okay. So, I think uh, I can also go, go about saying uh, if you guys have remembered, uh, I actually made a a second channel, it's called Smash Gen Generations 1. I forget about the other one, Wolf Zero, because that channel's dead. For obvious reasons. Now, I'm actually thinking about going back and making some videos for Smash Generations 1. Because I actually have one idea for what I could do for that channel. Usually I put Sonic Sonic music in, in those videos, but you know what? Now, I actually dug into some Mega Man music. And I want to play Smash Bros. for Wii U with Mega Man music. Because I did get the chance to buy some of the outfits for... First Super Smash Bros. Wii U, which includes Mega Man X's outfit. Really glad I actually got that. Now, here's this boss. I'll just quickly get into this, mentioning this boss. This is Mad Jack. He's pretty much a a Jack in the box. He's going to be jumping around you like this. And you pretty much have to wait it out. Don't just pretty much run from him. Or run in circles. That's also a pretty good idea. He seems to book it whenever he's like a, like a couple spaces away from him. But for the one... Oh, jeez. I didn't see him. I thought, like, he had another space to go, but... But in case if you do fall off or get knocked off, uh, then it'll just come back up. So, no worries. You can also check at... Look at some of these pillars, such as, like, the warning sign. That'll indicate that, you know, it's out of bounds. And this camera is jinx, just being the absolute best, shall I say. Getting back to how, it, how he moves. He'll move a lot slower when he's gonna land on a platform that you're currently on, but... If it's towards the platform that he's not on, then he'll just move fast. I want him to throw that, because he's going to throw those cannonballs. And he will look for these two switches. There's one switch on a blue panel, and there's another on a, a white panel. You want to make sure you hit the switch that's in the same one that he's going to be landing on. So for instance, if he's, if he's sitting on a blue pillar, then you want to go over to the blue pillar that has a blue switch. If you try and hit the other... If you... If, 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 if you try and hit the switch that doesn't match the color that he's standing on, instead what will happen is you're, you're going to be the one taking damage here. So just a note there. And apparently, uh, don't fall off. Okay, good. I can't see where the thing is. This, this is how ridiculous this boss can be sometimes. Sometimes, eh, I'll just be real jerkish to you. Other times, it's just... I don't know. Maybe this is intentional. They actually... They actually turned off the lights for the switch. Well, that was kind of ridiculous. I mean, when he's stopped like that, that's your chance to actually do it. But one easy way to avoid 
Mad Jack is when he's jumping over. You can just jump to the platform that he's he, that he just jumped off of. I believe you can you can press R if you want to and actually disable the auto camera thing. All right, now I actually see it. Okay, I guess the third time they make it so that uh, oh, I thought that maybe maybe we're just thinking of a different tech, but yeah, this cannonball attack or can cannonball projectile that he does really screws you. And you can tell how, how I hate this boss because because uh, it's just ridiculous, just because of his attacks and everything. And also with the ponytail swivel, make sure you have this because this will be really helpful to you when facing facing this boss. Because if you don't have it, then it might be difficult. And speaking of things, but there is a chance, there is a possible way to actually face this boss without Tiny Kong. I believe it's a glitch. It involves not rescuing Tiny Kong with Diddy Kong apparently. And by doing that, I think you can actually go through. And I just failed again. Jesus. Can I get get any progress done with this boss before I actually die? Because you can't regenerate health here, or there's no way to get your health back. So, so apparently, like you just get eight hits and you're done. Uh, pretty ridiculous, but whatevs. Once we get more life, apparently, or hopefully we can get more life later on from Candy Kong. I mean, she gave us one melon. How about another one, huh? All right, now that that's over. Uh, and also the the brightness has really helped. But all right, come on, set that. All right, good. I believe not. We hit him three times. Nothing. Okay. Uh, you see how repetitive this boss can be at sometimes, and most of the times it's just this boss can be absolutely ridiculous. Just like that. Look, I thought he would just move around, but no, he came ba right right back. So, uh, I think it's not really the the boss itself, but the camera. That, just really, you're gonna be struggling with the most because the camera just wants to put the boss off screen. So I gotta like do like the claw method, trying to situate the camera, but it just doesn't want to do it. At, it wants it wants me to. So I guess all you really gotta do is just do this. It's gonna, I guess it's gonna try its really, it's gonna try its hardest to actually try and squash you. So I think another good tip would to be doing is. Uh, stay in the middle, so that way you can actually get to a certain switch faster. And there's that new tech, you got that laser thing. Luckily that goes for only one platform. He won't go for like a bub platform like that. Oop. Come on, hit hit the switch. Come on. Alright, got it. Good. Oh. I believe he's going to be doing that a couple more times. Alright. I believe you actually have to hit him five times. We hit him four times already. So hopefully uh, this next hit will actually do him in here. Now he's invisible, so... That means we'll, we'll see them, so just make sure you look at the pixie stars. And just keep moving. Just pr pretend like you're speedrunning the game. Because you're gonna need it. I believe you can actually do this. Just actually just... Just like run across like this. I think that'd be actually pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna assume here that... The way that this boss works is that it follows whatever... Whatever... Uh, pillar that you just stepped on. I'm not sure about that, but... Alright. Right, this is gonna be a bad idea. Oh no! Oh yeah, I knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> Walking right into the platform that he's on. All right, can this get any more repetitive? I'm, I'm almost dead. I'm like I'm almost like legitimately gonna die on a boss. And I, I think this might be the hardest one too, except for another boss that we're gonna get in, get very later into. But oh uh, god, no! Get away from me! No, I hate this boss. Ugh. I mean, the Fantic Factory is all nice and all, but they gotta conclude it with such a cheap boss like this. Just won't leave you alone. Ugh. You really gotta like speed through this thing. Come on. You just whenever you're done. No, Ugh. I choked it. Gosh darn it. I think I'll actually cut until I can actually get it. Or if I die, then I'll cut all the way back to when I get two hits. Oh, okay. That, that's real fair. It's just did a fast jump on me. Ah, uh, I hate this boss. Come on, just I right, maybe I won't cut, but if I get hit one more time, then uh, how embarrassing would it be if I died? I don't want to die. No, I've come so far. I deserve better deaths than than this. You know, to be honest, I was actually thinking about now that the Virtual Console the version for this game is out. I was actually thinking about getting that and actually. Continuing the playthrough on that, just get to get up to that point where I'm at. But I'm still thinking about that. 
might not even do that. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna like, skip a platform. I might as well just abort there. Either I just missed the, the hover thing, or I just didn't. I, I really didn't want to. Uh, nope. All right. Good thing about falling off is that means you won't take any damage, but it does reset everything. I'm just trying to get back to the center here. I think that'd be a good idea here. Because getting back to the center, hopefully we can get to the switches. Uh, I had no, like I had no problems with this with this boss in my practice run, but apparently I'm just taking twice as long to beat this boss here. Oh, we just gotta like hop on the very edge, try and outspeed this guy. Maybe get like one plat one block ahead of him. I don't know. And then hopefully we can try and get the switches to spawn where we want it to, and not like across the entire battle arena. I believe I see it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I just get get out that right. Well, actually, it's right there. What am I saying? Oh, can, I, can I make that, please? Oh, I made that. Yes. Yep. No. Nope. Come on. All right. Yes. Right there. Come on. Hit it. I right, got it. Yes. Ha. Huh. I actually thought I was gonna fall off, but all right, good. By far one of the more annoying bosses out the way. And ha. Uh, Stands in our way is just us and collecting that boss key. Luckily we got that done. All right, come on, jump for it. Oh, leg. I guess I haven't explained this or mentioned this already, but uh, there, there's. It does appear that there's like a lot of lag in this game, but the interesting thing about how the, the game developers for the Donkey Kong 64, you know, this game, the way that they handle it, kind of interesting how. They actually speed when the game starts lagging. They actually speed up the movement of the characters. I'd say it's yeah, pretty clever, but I don't see many games doing that, especially rare. I mean, it looks like any other rare, game, rare games they could do that, but ah, eh, whatevs. Now we got the boss key. Let's just let's just take the boss key to K Lumsey and uh, see if there's anything anything for us. But then again, when we got the last boss key, it opened up two areas, so. What could happen? I don't know. Let's just get get the special boss key. There you go. All right. Oh, that's it. That's it, K. Lumsey. You don't want to dance? I guess. I guess he didn't like that boss key. It wasn't worth his time. Uh, shows you how much you really like that. Mad Jack wasn't even. It was just a meaningless boss. Then we didn't even have to do that. Well, again, it could have been a little bit important, but just one boss key, but he didn't even do anything for us. So, anyways, I guess I'll just show off the lobby area for the next area that we're going to go to. And, oh boy, it's it's one area that I'm probably not going to be looking forward to. Especially when I'm playing on a dark TV like this. Alright, swim to this little little hole in the in the ship. Surprised it's not sinking because of that hole in the underwater. But here we are, we're in this, this little dark area, this cave. And by the way, that, there is Chunky's cast plat in the hub area. That's always great. And you got these five things right there, and you also got your B locker. Make sure you have 30 bananas by this point if you want to get to this area. Luckily for us, we got we got more than double that. that. So we'll just uh, have that right there. So let's go over the Wrinkly Kong doors. Chunky doesn't need a key to open the chest below Crinky's lap. Oh, that's actually Chunky's door. I thought that was Donkey's. Because I thought the co color. Ah, my dark TV, sometimes. After releasing the seal, you'll find him waiting for DK over by the candy. Alright. Most of the stuff is coming back to me. That's, that's great. Anyways, let's get, go, go over to this other side. This is Tiny's. Dive down to the submarine near Funky and see if Tiny can find a way to inside. Very yeah, nice. A lot of tedious stuff, though. Sounds like it. Jump through the star with and guard, and guard. I don't know how to pronounce that, but get get things with him, like like treasure. And for his last one, Diddy Kong. When the ship comes in, climb aboard with Diddy and fire the cannon. All right. So I still not thinking about, or I haven't decided on who I'm gonna start start these parts off with is with in the this next area. But I think I'm gonna go with my guy here and say. I say it'd be a good idea to start with Lanky Kong here, so that's going to be it for this part. To next time for part 20. Jeez, we're already at part 20. As we're going to be entering the Gloomy Galleon with 
with Lanky Kong. So till then, see you guys later.